How much do you pay in federal taxes each year? Well, it's looking more and more likely that amount is going to change. Yeah, with lightning speed today, the U.S. House approved its version of a massive tax overhaul, and late tonight, the Senate Finance Committee approved theirs. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with a look at the rapid developments and some intense and wow. good, nasty debates tonight, oh, Dave. First of all, the House was cheering and backslapping, and then a couple of hours later, the Senate Finance Committee, I mean, it was, it was nasty in there. Let me tell you, the House tax bill was never in any serious doubt, and it passed by a 25 vote margin, hence the cheering. But tempers were flaring, and the gavel was banging in the Senate Finance Committee tonight, which ultimately passed the Senate version of tax reform by two votes, but not before some real serious fireworks as the debate turned angry and personal. I get kind of sick and tired of it. Uh, true, it's a nice political play. Well, Mr. But Chairman, it's not true. with all due respect, I get sick and tired of the richest people Regular in the order, country, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Getting richer and Regular richer. Order. And richer. Order. Regular order. Regular order. We do a tax cut. Regular order. Middle wait class a minute. Wait a minute. Regular order. And over and over wait, again. Wait How many second. times do we do this before we learn this? Listen, I've honored you by allowing you to spout off here. And what you said was not right. So don't spew that stuff on me. I get a little tired of that crap. That Welcome to the next stop for tax reform legislation in the U.S. Senate. If anyone thought that getting the tax cuts tax reform package through the Senate was going to be easy, this was the tone of a hearing Thursday night in the Senate Finance Committee. As a shouting match between committee chair Orrin Hatch and Ohio Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown flared openly, a sign of the massive divisions on this issue. And Oregon Democrat Ron Wyden fired back at Hatch and the Republicans. The very first thing they're going to do after this tax bill is completed, they're going to go on to the entitlement agenda. And we've seen that movie before. Colleagues, I think this is indefensible, partisan legislation, a dark day for a storied committee, and a dark day for our country. So Republican elation over House passage of a tax package earlier Thursday may be a little premature. The far-reaching overhaul of the federal tax code passed the House on a 227 to 205 vote, and it includes $1.5 trillion in tax cuts for businesses and individuals. But more than a dozen House Republicans voted no, including some Californians, and getting a tax bill through the Senate is expected to be much tougher. Bill is passed. House Republicans are relatively in a much needed win, a full scale tax overhaul. The powers of the status quo in this town are so strong, yet 227 men and women of this Congress broke through that today. President Trump was on Capitol Hill taking a pre victory victory lap. After the vote, he tweeted this Congratulations to the House of Representatives for passing the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, a big step toward fulfilling our promise to deliver historic tax cuts for the American people by the end of the year. The legislation would slash the corporate tax rate, reduce the number of tax brackets, and simplify the code. Every Democrat voted no. This tax scam won't create jobs, it won't raise wages, it will only fill the coffers of the donors. And the fat cats. A handful of Republicans opposed to erasing deductions for state and local taxes also voted no. Three of them are from California. Darrell Issa of Vista, who barely survived last year's re-election by about a half of 1%. Tom McClintock of Elk Grove, who opposed the elimination of the deduction for state and local taxes. And Dana Rohrbacher of Huntington Beach, who's been hammered over his Russia connections in a district that was won by Hillary Clinton in last year's presidential presidential race. And these are the 11 Republican Congress members who voted yes on the tax reform plan, despite possible repercussions for them in the midterm elections next year. On the Senate side, signs of trouble. Their version is still in the works, adding a repeal of the Obamacare individual mandate, which supporters say brings a $338 billion savings. One Republican already says he's not on board and others are still on the fence. I'm not for the current version. What I want to see is the information to prove the kind of economic growth we're going to get with all of our tax provisions. That gives Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell little wiggle room as he can afford to lose only one more Republican vote and still pass the bill. 
Now, the angry exchange on the Senate tax bill were fueled in part by a new report Thursday from the Joint Committee on Taxation. It estimates that many low income earners, those making $30,000 or less, may actually pay higher taxes starting in 2021, while the big corporations, it said, would be enjoying their tax rates being slashed by nearly 43%. Jeff, Lena, back to you.